Good morning YouTube and welcome back to the farm. Today I've got a different project. I've had a Harbor Freight multi-purpose workbench with lighting and outlet sitting in my barn for probably about five years. I bought this for uh, my son and we never got around to putting it together. Because I had this bright idea, I was going to go and put casters on the bottom of it on a three-quarter inch piece of plywood. And that way we could roll it around the shop. Well, other things have come along and gotten in the way. And uh, I just opened this up. Now this isn't, obviously isn't the one that they're selling right now. This is the one from several years ago. It's got pegboards, it's got... Uh, outlets on one end of it so that you can plug stuff in it even has a light and this is probably the light right here so we're going to unbox this and uh, start seeing what we can do about putting it together come along with us as we get something done here on the farm the first thing you want to do of course is read the instructions I'm a technician. Uh, I've been Mr. Fix-It my entire life. And contrary to popular belief, not all men take these and throw them in the trash. Um, more than anything, you know, other than put this in here and tighten this up and whatnot, more often than not, the reason why I read these is to make sure I'm putting it together in the right order because somebody probably smarter than I am went and did this a few times and uh, a lot easier to learn from somebody else's mistakes than my own so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to lay out all the parts make sure everything's here and uh, then we'll probably lube up the uh, slides one of the things I've noticed with these toolboxes that I get from Harbor Freight or anybody else for that matter, Lowe's or Home Depot, is the grease they go and put on the little ball bearings on the slides isn't the best. So I've got some stuff that's more like gun oil you put in there and it doesn't evaporate away and it uh, makes it slide a lot better. And out here in the barn where it gets hot and cold and hot and cold, that's important. So let's start laying stuff out. See if we can figure out what's missing. In the uh, instructions from Harbor Freight, they weren't real particular about what hardware to use where. In fact, there's no mention. It just says, you know, assemble this, and it shows screws going in. And of course, I went and used all the wrong screws. Now that I've run out, I found another box that has a whole bunch of screws that are the same size, but they're shorter, which will be better for this. So. Now I've got to go and turn around and replace all the screws that I just went and put together.
Well, I took about an hour break, grabbed some lunch, something to drink, and uh, I figured out that my camera battery died. So there's a little bit of missing footage here, but we got the drawers in, the drawers work, and we've got most of the table built. And now I'm going to get back at it and see if I can get it finished before the sun goes down. So far this has turned out to be an all day project. So let's get to work. Well now we have light and I've got two nuts, one washer and one screw left over. Oh, and one little lock washer that I could not get where it needed to go. So uh, yeah, I'm counting that good. Now I'm just trying to figure out where I left a left out a, a screw. Yeah, as far as I can tell, I've got screws everywhere it needs to be. Whoo! Well, if you hadn't figured this out, this ended up being an all-day project. I took a couple hour break for lunch, 
but yeah, this this turned into an all day project. Of course, I'm doing it all by myself, and I made a couple of mistakes. I had to go back and fix a couple of things, but there it is, the Harbor Freight multi-purpose tool bench. Now I'm going to go and. Uh, get me a piece of plywood and four lockable casters and put it underneath here so that I can roll it around the shop easier. Thanks for coming out today and helping us get a little bit done on the farm. That was an all day ordeal. But I'm waiting on parts for my little MC crawler so I'm, this is better than sitting on my hands. At least I'm getting something useful done and this has been sitting here for a number of years waiting to be assembled now it's assembled thanks for watching and come back and see us